Good job. Okay, awesome. All right, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna start his bed stay. Okay. Get this out of the way here. It's gonna be the same concept as what we did with the sits. So we're gonna be starting off with a continuous pressure on the e-collar, then transitioning to the single tap. So what I'm gonna do is before we do anything with the e-collar, I'm gonna do it with the leash a couple times first. Just make sure that I can get him over and onto the bed. Good. Okay. And I'll just do that a few times first. Good. Okay. Good. I just want to see some of that resistance go away before we add the e-collar into this. Obviously, that wasn't like a rock. No, 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 that was like snorting. <laughs> okay, yeah. Good. Okay. So we're gonna start adding the e-collar and the verbal command in here next. Start really low, start at like a three for this. I'm gonna walk up to the bed. I'll tell him bed. If he doesn't get on, I'm gonna hold the button down, help him on, and release once he gets four paws on the bed. Okay. Bed. This one can be a little repetitive initially until they get it. Yeah. Okay, it's hard because like we've patterned in staying in the heel position, sitting in the heel position, et cetera, et cetera. So getting him to kind of reverse that mentality a little bit here, bed, can be challenging for them. Good, good job, buddy. Okay, but usually once they start getting it, it kind of clicks and okay. becomes really easy. So we'll probably be, you know, that one was probably a fluke, but in the next couple reps here. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, it's just I'm kind of figuring it out and figuring out the pattern. Okay, come on. Bed. Good. His last three or four, no e-collar, obviously. Okay, if he does it on his own, that's the goal. Good. Okay, now this is where I kind of use this like autopilot state of mind that he's getting into to our advantage, you know? I just, I'm letting him just do it, you know? I probably don't even need to say anything and he's starting to figure out the pattern and just going to it, like that's fine, you know? He's being successful with it. Okay, there's no need to try to change it up. We'll see a lot of people, as soon as they hit this point with the dog, they'll like, they'll go up to the bed and then when the dog goes to do it before they say it, they'll be like, no, and then like correct them for it. It's like. Why, right? Like he's figuring out the routine of what it is that's expected at this point. You know, later on when we add in other commands and stuff, bed. Good. You know, then we'll start making him wait and process understanding the difference between them and all that. Okay. But right now I just want him to be successful. That's it. Bed. 
just gonna do a handful more of these. Okay. But like I said, it's funny, like once it clicks, like they just kind of get it. Bed. Good. Okay. Bed. Good. Okay, all right, looks pretty good. So what we're gonna do next here is we're gonna switch from using the continuous pressure to the tap. So we'll say no and tap if we need to, and I'm gonna start adding duration to this. Bed. So get him onto the bed. If he doesn't get on, again, I'll say no, tap, bed. Then if I need to, I'll help him on with the leash. From there, once he's on it and stable, start kind of walking around. Make sure he's holding position. Okay, then release him off. Bed. Good. Okay. Come on. Bed. Good. Okay. Bed. Good. Okay. And next I'm gonna start adding and dropping the leash. Bed. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna generalize to a different bed. So I'm gonna do the same process of just getting him onto it and then having him add duration into it, just on a different one. Okay, and we'll see if it throws him off. Bed. Good. Okay. 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 Bed. Good. Oh, I think the same one is like Amazon, right? Do you have a regular dog bed at home? No, it doesn't really. He's never really let into it. 
yeah, you can get whatever kind of bed you want. If you want to use one of these, you can. If you want a regular dog bed, that's fine also. Okay. So, and it honestly doesn't even need to be a dog bed. It just needs to be some sort of clear visual position. Okay. You know, so if you have a, a certain spot in the house that's very visually clear and it has kind of some sort of parameters to it, yeah. you could use that for it, you know. The key is it's a place that's like out of the way you could send him to where you don't need to like put him away. So I use this when I have guests come over the house, cooking, eating, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. All up in your face? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you, you, typically I tell people put it wherever you'd be hanging out, you know, living room, somewhere like that. Like involved, but not participating. Exactly, yes. Okay. And then ultimately it's something where you'll be able to like send him from afar to it. That's what the benefit of this is versus like a downstay or something like that. Bed. Like you see, we're starting to create distance. We went from being pretty close to it to four or five feet away from it. Okay, do two more of those. You see that one creating even more distance. Initially, as you're working on this the first week, I try to not go any further than like a leash length. Okay. So. 